I just tested the mountain biking capabilities of the Stromer SD5 and I went up a little higher than expected. Um, probably at an incline of around 600 meters. And I'm really impressed. The SD2 got up to 140 degrees, the motor, and it would uh, turn down the power. And I tried the S mode all the way up the hill, just to see if it would overheat and when. I'm it's around 75 to 80 kilograms. So that makes a huge difference uh, if it would get hot or not. Um, the view is just amazing. So, yes, this bike, I'm in love. Um, with the SD2, you could get up a mountain no problem if you're under, I'd say, 80 kilograms. Even above, it's no problem if you're fit. But with this bike, I gotta say, it, it did when you turn on S mode. I believe once it hits, once it hits like, yeah, no, S, S mode is back. Once it hits around 100 degrees, the S mode will disappear and you will go back to the uh, support mode number three, which is no problem. It's not, um, you won't even notice. I didn't even notice the S mode was gone. It's still so much power. But when it's, uh, when it's a long straight line up the mountain, you notice the S mode. It gives you so much more support. So this is the first bike that I tried, that it's possible to get up mountain, no matter what incline, without any effort, like minimal effort, which of course takes out the purpose. So uh, I would just use support mode number two and you get more range. And yeah, I can work out on the way down when I use the motor to brake and keep pedaling to charge the battery. But yes, right now I'm back on the street, on the main road, which is much more smooth. There's some gravelly roads. I was going through some um, oh, dirt patches and some tiny little rivers that run across the street and mud puddles and now let's see how how the bottom looks like now that looks different there's definitely some some spillage right there it does get in there so I wonder how this hold up that's, yeah well but the dirt is minimal mm, considering I was driving quite a while through some really muddy puddles and bumpy roads so yes this bike I, I came up the mountain with 35% um, battery left I just came back from a trip I was using it all day so I was at 35% and now after 600 meters up I'm still at 11% that's that's considering I was driving in sports mode like 80% and support mode, mode number 3, 20% of the time, that's, that's a good result. So, yeah, I believe Stromo should make some specific mountain bikes with a um, rear drive hub motor. It's just, yes, it does overheat, but this technology, it doesn't, this one right here is perfect. You could use that for a mountain bike, no problem, all day. Like. It never reached over 100 degrees, never. It even, when I was driving up the hill constantly, once it f went, reached over 100 degrees, the S mode fell down, back to number three. And after five minutes, I was able to put the S mode back in. Like it will, it actually keeps around 91, steady 91 degrees going uphill. Crazy good. And the battery, reached i'm not sure around 43 or 41 degree which is a little too hot for the battery but still in the green area so amazing bike